are here to talk about the organics, the organic acid profile by Genova. We're going to talk about uh, both what supplements to leave out, which is pretty simple, and some tips on how to do the collection. So first off, you want to take out generally all vitamins, minerals, supplements, because we want to get a good baseline. The organic acids that we're looking at, there's 46 metabolites that are coming out of the cells, end up in the urine. They're going to give us information about multiple body systems. We're going to look at liver detox markers, um, vitamin status, like B vitamins, glutathione status, uh, mitochondrial health, carbohydrate metabolism, fatty acid metabolism, um, oxidative stress markers. It's, it's super comprehensive, but all of those markers are metabolites that are come that are en that end up in the urine that we need to collect. So um, there's a lot of there are a lot of vitamins and supplements that if you leave them in, it's going to test, for example, not your glutathione levels, but your glutathione plus that N-acetylcysteine that you're taking or um, some of the mitochondrial markers might be different if you're taking magnesium because uh, magnesium affects your mitochondrial health, right? Um, similarly, we're going to get a lot of B vitamin markers, like we'll get methylmalinate for vitamin B12. And we want to see what's, what's your B12 status, not your B12 status, plus that B12 supplement that you're taking. So generally you just want to take out all vitamins and minerals, like most supplements for four, only for four to seven days. Um, okay. there are some, the exception, the main exception would be if it feels like if it's essential, um, well, certainly any prescription medications should be left in. I never recommend that people go off prescription medication. So that's in a whole different category. Um, but for example, if, if you have a vitamin or a mineral that you feel you're going to fall apart, if you go off of it for four, seven days, you can stay on it and just tell me, and then I'll take that into account when I'm analyzing the lab results. Um, are there any vitamins, mineral supplements that you feel like are essential that you can't live without and can't be off of for four to seven days? Um, so I sometimes use like herbs to help with like my GI. Um, should I take those out or should are teas okay? That's such a good question. Teas are generally fine for this test. For herbs, you know, the general recommendation is to just take everything out for four to seven days, but there, there's a little bit of gray area with herbs because there's a lot of herbs that won't necessarily change these markers. You could get really nitpicky and say like, well, maybe some of these herbs are gonna change your glutathione status. And again, we want a really good baseline with those markers. But I would say, if you feel like you can leave it out, leave it out for four to seven days. If you feel like you can't, then leave it in and just tell me. Okay. Okay. So you ready to jump into a few tips on how to collect? Yeah. Okay, so the kit does not come with a collection container. So I recommend a clean, I like to use a mason jar. You can use a mason jar, a glass, just a clean container. And I like the mason jar because it has a lid on it. And the reason why is this collection is first morning voice. It's the first pee that comes out when you wake up. But also you have to collect whatever comes out in the night time if you wake up in the middle of the night. And so I recommend that you have a mason jar handy. You can put it, um, you know, in the bathroom or close to your bed. And when you get up in the middle of the night, you want to collect that urine, put the lid on, put it in the fridge. And then when you get up in the morning, you go to the fridge, get that jar, add the two together. So you're going to add the first morning void into the overnight collection. And then there's a pipette where you'll transfer the urine from your collection container to the collection vial. Um, if you wake up multiple times in the night, you have to do it again, right? Like you, you, you empty your bladder before you go to bed. You don't collect that. That goes in the toilet. But then once you go to sleep, like once it's, you know, within six hours of waking, any of that urine, if you go in the middle of the night, you have to collect. So let's say you wake up twice in the middle of the night, you have to collect both and your first morning void. So you would, you know, pee in a jar, put it in the fridge. You know, if you wake up in the middle of the night, if you wake up a second time, go get it, pee in the jar, put it back in the fridge. And then when you finally wake up after your night's sleep and it's your first morning void, you go get it again, 
pee in the jar, and then it's all together, and then you suck it up with the pipette, transfer it to the collection tube. Now, the collection tube is skinny, so it freezes pretty fast, which is good because the sample has to be frozen when you drop it off at FedEx. And um, there, there is a freezer brick inside the kit. I recommend as soon as your kit arrives, go ahead and grab that freezer brick and put it in the freezer so it's ready to roll when it's time to ship out. Because what you don't want is to have it be frozen. Your sample is frozen in the collection vial. It's ready to ship out. And oops, you forgot to put your freezer brick in the freezer and you have to wait for that to freeze as well. The collection vial, like I said, is pretty skinny. It only takes about two to three hours to freeze. And as soon as it's frozen, you package everything up and you drop it off at FedEx. Uh, the other thing you wanna do, and it's in the instructions, is you wanna make sure that you fill out the requisition, that all the tubes are labeled. It's all in the instructions here, but just as a little tip, you know, make sure that you fill out any paperwork that it says that you have to fill out. Do you have any questions so far about what we've already covered? Um, you mentioned a mason jar, just like a little eight ounce regular glass. Does that work? Yeah, I mean the size, I use more of a, when I did mine, I use more of a 12 ounce because I don't want to over, you know, I don't want to overflow okay. it. I want to make sure that I have enough there for all of the urine that, that ends up in my bladder that night while I'm sleeping. Um, so I use, you know, yeah, just a regular 12 ounce uh, mason jar, but you can also use a big glass or a big cup. You just want it to be clean. And again, I like it to have a lid because if I wake up in the middle of the night and I have to collect that, I want to put it in the fridge, you know, sealed. Yeah. Any other questions? I don't think so. Just another tip, since it's, we're looking at the instructions here, it's right here. You don't collect while you're menstruating. That can change the results. And they also want you to be a little bit dehydrated when you do this collection, because if your urine is too dilute, it's harder to analyze what's in it. And so you notice here, it says decreased fluid intake to avoid excessive, um, excessive dilution of the urine for adults, uh, restrict intake to three ounces, uh, eight ounce, three eight ounce glasses for, uh, or less for, for 24 hours. So the 24 hours before you collect your max amount of fluids is three eight ounce glasses. So 24 okay. ounces of fluids max for the 24 hours prior to collecting. And then it also says, make sure no more than eight ounces of this, of the three eight ounce glasses is consumed after 8 p.m. the evening prior to the, the collection. So again, you just wanna make sure your urine is a little bit dilute so we can find all the stuff in there, all the metabolites that we're testing for. Okay, that makes sense. One last thing, since we're reading it right here, we can see it, is um, you need to get it out within 24 hours of collecting. So once you collect it, get it in the freezer, two to three hours later, it's frozen. You wanna make sure that you drop it off at FedEx no more than 24 hours after you collect. You don't wanna let it sit in the fridge for a few days because it won't be as fresh. Okay. Okay, anything else? I don't think so, it's pretty straightforward. So just so I understand, the day before I take the test, I should limit my drinking of water. So I think you said three eight ounce glasses. Now, if I wake up that night before my first morning void, I'm catching those samples. Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. Let's say you go to bed at 10 and you wake up at six. You know, once we're getting to like 11 or 12, you need to collect that. Awesome. Okay, any other questions? Nope, I think I'm good to go on that. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah, thank you.